What's up everyone? This video series is going to be a little different than some of the previous ones you've watched from me. I'm going to be doing a more serious take on Requiem 3BF Tweaks Dead is Dead runs. Currently playing the RK's Commandment list with some uh, of my own changes. Nothing too, too crazy. Uh, removed some mods and then added a few. Uh, probably the most notable mods that I've added Really the only one I can think of is like out of combat stamina being infinite and just some like animations, UI changes, some character creation adjustments. Uh, that's about it. Nothing too crazy. Same gameplay wise, um, but pretty much just going to be jumping into it. going to talk about the build real quick. We are an orc. Uh, I'm also using Skyrim outfit system, which is why you see me wearing this armor. I actually have no items in my inventory. So we're going to be an orc, and we're going to be going with the warrior stone. And I'm not going to pick my divine blessing yet. Uh, In-game divine blessing, we're going to be going for molag ball. Not going to be doing vampire in this character, but I do want to go with molag ball just for the additional power attack damage, but that'll be late game. We're going to start off with Talos, probably switch over to either Xenathar at some point, or maybe Azura. Azura might be the pick. Uh, might, I might not even go uh, Xenathar at all. I might just go Talos, Azura, and then eventually to Molag Ball. Um, but we're going to be going for two-handed heavy armor, but not just like your uh, traditional two-handed heavy armor, because this build is going to have a high focus on enchanting. Uh, I just think enchanting's really strong skill, so I'm only going to put two perks in right now. I'm going to save the one perk for uh, one of these two. Once we get to heavy armor level 25, we'll be able to grab another one of those. And we can grab both of them. So we're going to be able to wear a full set of heavy armor at level 2. Um, but yeah, we're going to be focusing on getting enchanting up to like 100 as soon as possible for the most part. And try to go for the, uh, the Daedric staves. Um, but basically early game, want to prioritize arcane experimentation so we can get the uh, fire burst and shock burst enchantments. Um... And then down the line, go up, of course, to the last one to make the Daedric Staves. But super important part of our build. And uh, the two-handed two -handed heavy armor is going to help facilitate survival and uh, being able to clear content pretty easily until we can get to enchanting 100. Not sure how many times I'm going to have to do this intro. I've been thinking about just recording an intro and then, like, cutting it and then just... <laughs> start my runs but uh, we've only we've only lost uh once so far so this is this is the second attempt of recording at least i played this character not recording uh got up to level 18 but realized that there were some uh things i wanted to change about the build so i wanted to start over and record it anyways all right so starting off we're gonna grab an iron battle axe I want a wooden crossbow. Actually, wait, hold on. I want to choose again. I think I want to go with a steel battle axe right off the bat. I think I can afford it. So that's another one of the minor changes I have is I'm using more tokens. Just to kind of give myself some more gear right off the bat so there's less me just like the first brief moments of uh, me joining the world, like scrounging for... Uh, items to use. It's like I could very easily just like go get a near full set of armor without having to fight anything. But I just want to jump into the combat. Alright. Go ahead and get all of this hotkeyed. Get right into it. We are going to go pick up the Shrine of Talos Blessing. Because uh, right now, with the perk, we're doing 155. We'll get an extra 10%, so... Probably go up 16 points. Go up to 171. If it rounds up, I'm assuming it will. Uh, 170. It did not round up. Sad. I will take the gold, though. Ooh, Elven Dagger. We can sell that. 
I know I said I was going to jump right into the action, and I'm going to. Right now. We just got to be careful to not hit our boy. There we go. He used all of my stamina, but I wasn't worried because Talscar is crazy. So starting off Warrior Stone Beef Stew, we start off at 245 health. I only have 110 stamina, and I only have a tonic going. I'm basically going to be abusing the shit out of Beast Stew too, as much as I can. Beast Stew is crazy still. Uh, here in the like first episode, probably won't be cutting too much out, but in the future episodes, I'm probably going to cut out a lot of the boring and travel. Okay, I don't know why my cancel didn't happen there, but never punished. But I will be focusing a lot, so there'll probably be a lot of times when there won't be a lot of commentary. Which is another reason why I'll just cut out the boring stuff. I need to fight some wolves here, but I don't want to fight, like, 40 wolves here. There's one. Oh, well, there's one. There's a ton, though, is the problem. Yeah, just like I thought. Okay, yeah, we're quickly gonna get... ...carried away here. Oh, God. This tree was not as good cover as I wanted it to be. There's usually like 40 wolves over here, so I'm expecting more to come out of the woods. Maybe we're good. I think I already got that one, yep. Okay. Guess we're good enough right now. Don't see any more coming out. Just need to make sure we get some wolf hearts, but also some raw meat. Yeah, we're going to have to be really careful about stamina really early on. I was tempted to take a vegetable soup right off the bat, but I kind of like the, beast, uh, the beef stew just to help survive the, f Come on. the first few encounters. I'm not going to be doing alchemy. I'm just picking these up to snack on along the road. Because we're going to be going for beef stew pretty early on anyways, which would override our cabbage soup, or vegetable soup, whichever one it is that we pick. You picked a bad time to get lost, fool. Where's the third one? There's the third one. Okay, gotta remember where she died. I okay, one with shield, one without shield. You're as good as dead. Die already, so I can take your stuff. So we are playing on what, at the time of recording, is the most current version of uh, F-Tweaks, which is 1.19b, so it is the beta. So there are diluted insights. Ooh, that was a little jump. You'll find diluted insights on NPCs, and this will give you one point instead of the normal ten points that you get from uh, regular. Insights. Oh, did I already grab the coin purse? Okay, whatever. 
just as a way to reward actually doing combat early on, or just in general. Not leaving it all up to just the loot you find in chests. And then chests did get a slight nerf to balance that out. Oh, sometimes doing that. Switching from first to third when she thing breaks it. Yeah, so I'll, I'll throw all this part in just so you guys can see how I do my my camping by the woods start the 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 normal line that I make. Hey! Usually, a lot of times this guy likes the power attack like right off the bat. Ah. Well, not this time. There's the power attack though. Oh, oh wow! Couldn't punish it still. Ah. You almost have to like predict you won't get the best of when me. they're gonna swing. Ah. It can be a little difficult to react. I'm gonna power attack. Yeah, power attack cancel. Oh god. Completely out of stamina. You have to take a hit there. <laughs> yeah, that was... I mean, like, the power attack is really risky. I was hoping to do enough damage to put him down to one knee. Ooh, two. Two insights. Nice. Take him. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't do enough damage to bring him down to one knee, but... I knew that I could take one hit. Because I have so much health. And being that I was able to take one hit, I could trade with his attack. Okay, we need some we need some salmon. The infinite out of combat stamina does make grabbing salmon out of the uh, water a lot easier too. I don't really need the salmon out of the uh, waterfall though, because those ones give salmon row, and I don't really need salmon row. I'm not doing alchemy. Pretty much just going to be doing two-handed heavy armor, enchanting, lockpicking. That's about it. And there is a dead dude over here who has a treasure note. Um, Ebony, ooh, Ebony Warhammer, Blood Bandit, at the Blood Bandit. What the hell is the Blood Bandit? I don't know what that is, but an Ebony Warhammer sure is nice. So we might get lucky there. On my way back to, or on my way to Whiterun, I'll take that way and take on those bandits, just because you get a couple extra chests along the way. And one nice thing about doing the Warrior Stone, and Beef Stew for that matter, is that you can bash open Apprentice Locks right off the bat. Let's see what we get. Uh, see, I only got one, one in sight, so you can see how the chests are a little less crazy. But you do get insights from killing things, killing people. So now I have 15 insights, so we're going to go Warrior... Just need to get heavy armor to 25, and then we can start wearing a full set of heavy armor. So, if I find any bandits with uh, good pieces, I'll go ahead and pick those up. What? Pretty much anything steel and above. Ain't every day. What? That explains what I... You're right. At the yard. We need to get word to yard. Croft, when you get to White Run, take a look. Just gonna sell off some of the stuffs. I think I have plenty of carry weight, but might as well. I think I might go ahead and make the uh, bestial stew while I'm here well, at the Riverwood Trader, because if I'm starting no. to have a lot no of stamina problems, no I, no deep I, I well, think I can handle 30 less health. Some may call being able to have junk. more stamina, but more worth it. Because we already have a lot of health at this point. Um, let's go based off of weight.
I better get back to clean. Then I'll just make my way up to the two bandits at the top up here. Just because it's a nice, nice little pit stop. The plan I usually have for them, if I'm playing a two-handed character, since in the latest updates of uh, F Tweaks, two-handed breaks bows now, or Requiem got rid of that in its latest version at the time of recording, I like to bull rush both of them. Like, bull rush the non-marksman uh, person first, the melee guy, and then turn, bull rush the uh, marksman, break his bow, get behind the cook pot up there, and then find an escape. Sometimes, though, the bull rush can be a little janky and doesn't actually stop this guy and he gets a hit off on you. It's just how it goes sometimes. Or that can happen, which I got lucky still. Didn't get hit. Never punished. Oh, but he's coming in. Hot. Okay, I think I am going to do the bestial stew, just because look at that stamina regen. It's just way better. You're dead. You hear me? I cannot Ooh, you. I actually managed to outrange that. That that attack is like really hard to outrange. It's so fast. Hey, at least we got an insight there. The uh, nerf to insights? That's not bad. <laughs> or the nerf to chests, I should say. I don't care for just regular iron bolts. It does magicka damage. I will sell it. I'll take the enchanted ones, though. I will go ahead and equip the enchanted ones. The reason I picked the uh, wooden over the iron is I don't really have the crossbow to do, like, a lot of damage. Uh, mostly have it to get some chip damage, like, early on. But also, it's really nice just when I have to deal with another ranged person to have something to fight them with and not have to, like, risk my life. Especially if you end up in a battle against someone with a uh, staff and you just don't have, like, a way of closing the gap and killing them quickly. Just, you know, hide behind a rock, make them waste all their enchantment use, and keep shooting them. So, in those moments, you know, I don't I don't need to be doing a whole lot of damage. I just need to do enough damage to deal with them. And being able to reload slightly faster and use less stamina is nice with the uh, lighter crossbows. So I'm pretty sure that's how that works. I know there's light and heavy crossbows. Let's see, do the other wolves come running? No, they do not. I'll take care of them on the way out. I think the rain is killing my FPS a little bit. I'm like dipping below 60 every now and again, it feels like. I do have an autosave mod on. But I will still be saving frequently. So I'll just go ahead and get a chip shot in. Just a little bit of damage. Shields are so fast, it's ridiculous. With two of them, I can't really afford to power attack to break a guard, but luckily, there's only one now. If you really want to abuse the AI, you can just do things like this. I try not to do that too much, though. I'd rather do cool things like that and waste all my fucking stamina. I want to keep this mid-range here until my stamina comes back enough to where I can move. And then I'll just go around and do the cheesy thing just because I had no stamina. Two of them. Yay, that's the new update. Getting, 
getting more diluted. I really like the uh, diluted insights change. I think it's really neat. Take a mountain flower there. Do I still have healing poultice going? No, I do not. I don't want all three of them to come out, so I like to just like wait right here for the two to come out and not alert the third. Just prefer to not have to fight too many at the same time. Power attack, yep. I just wanted to get a better position there. He power attacks, I'm going to power attack. I want you to power attack. I say that, and then I'm going to get hit by the set power attack. Come on, buddy. I know you want to do it. Alright, we'll play this lame. Yeah, I really can't afford to be power attacking on shields quite yet. Not yet. Uh, steel, I'll take those. Forgot to check. He only had iron. Actually, I didn't lose him at all yet. Where's my carry weight at? 90. We're good. We've got plenty. Is someone there? I thought I heard something. Yeah, enemies just blocking with their weapon. Pretty easy to deal with. Uh, I'll take the tomato soup. You never know when you might not have food on you. When you need something. Alright, let's see if we get anything good here. Um, two regular insights, not too bad, actually. I'm not sure what the new norm is going to look like. Uh, let's see here, we're going to go heavy armor. We're going to get that to 25. And then we can start leveling two-handed. We get the level up. And we're going to perk into smithing early on, and then we'll pump, like, we'll do, like, six, or smithing, six into stamina, and then the rest gets pumped into health. Alright, now we can wear heavy armor, which we only have one piece of at the moment, but maybe, wait, hold on, maybe I should go check and see if they had even an iron chest plate. Yeah, that's 107 points better than what I'm wearing now. Iron boots and iron helmet. Okay. Yeah, now we got a full iron set with steel gauntlets. Puts us at 509. Mostly just to insulate us from the archer that's up here. Just so we don't have to take a bunch of damage if we get hit by him. Plus, if we make any uh, mistakes and get hit now, got a little protection. So the archer is wearing an elven helmet. Probably just alerted all three of them. Yeah. Luckily, the archer stays behind. Oh, I love when the two handed guys swing twice like that. I got you like a fish. Come on! Yeah, I could afford to power attack there because luckily for me, he has a mace. And that's just super slow. I don't think I need any more jugs of milk for now. Uh, I'll take one more. I think six is good. I think I'm out of the mountain flower. I am. Take a healing poultice. Now it's just the archer. Ah, 
Ooh, yeah, that still did a decent amount of damage. Yeah, he definitely looks like the, the high-level bandit of this dungeon. Oh, I was scared he was going to have an enchanted dagger. I think, did he? No, it was regular. Skilled armor is actually pretty good. <laughs> even, even for us. Wow, is he actually, he was stacked. If we were doing a light armor character, this would be, would be really good. Some lightweight elven armor backed up with some nice scale chest plate. He'd be sitting pretty good with that. That's it right there. Uh, oh man, because the uh, bestial stew is overriding. Because I don't have the beef stew anymore. I actually can't open these. Well, that's unfortunate. I'll have to come back for these. Because what's my health at? 217. So that goes up to, say, 430. Oh, we are very close. We just need, like, one more level up, and then when we put that into stamina, we'll have enough. And just the extra points into health. So we're at uh, 234 plus 115. Yeah, I think we're one point off. Wow. I don't have any fortify. <laughs> we are legit one point of health or stamina away from being able to bash open Apprentice. I guess I could have went and got the uh, coin purse down there, but we're going to have to come back anyways. There's a couple more wolves over here I'd like to uh, beat up on. Alright, um, I don't really feel like going to Lucan because there's not really much else he can do for us anyways because he's almost out of gold. So I think that's everything we needed out of Whiterun, except for some more salmon. Hmm, that is unfortunate. There is some salmon I would like to grab. How much salmon do I have? Yeah, that's, that's enough for two. And I'll have to come back soon. You know what? I might just come back for the salmon off camera. Need more salmon for bestial stew. Seems like a good time to quick save. I should make an actual hard save. You picked a bad time to get lost. Damn. I, like messed up the cancel there or something. Take a hit there. If she power attacks, I will power attack. Does she not want to power attack? Comes. But I'm gonna take the hit because I got caught on this rock. But that's where heavy armor comes into play. I'm tempted to take the Steel Warhammer, but I don't think I want to go Warhammers yet. It only does five more damage because we're following Talos, and Talos is going to give us that boost. Ooh, he had a regular insight as well. That's very nice. I would like to find some better heavy armor. Most of my uh, attempts with heavy armor characters, I usually find some better uh, heavy armor early on. I can't open that yet. I need a level up. Wait, do I have enough for a level up? I don't think so. If I'm going two-handed, I can get three. Yeah, not quite. <laughs> a little over half. And I might have to come back to... Hmm... That's interesting. That's kind of annoying. I should have left the beef stew on, or I should have done the vegetable stew because it gives you plus 20 stamina and I would have been able to open these locks. So I think what I'm going to have to do is probably just pick up in the next episode and, and do like all of the white room camps. Start doing that and then I'll come back like 
during that episode or something, I guess. But, alright. I'll catch you guys in the next one.